Welcome back. You know, our friends at Mercy Health have been working to safely restore services for the community. They want to make sure you don't postpone care that you need to get to stay healthy, stay well. Joining us to talk about Mercy Health safety precautions, not delaying your care, and what you can do to stay healthy is Daniel Roper, MD. He's the emergency medicine physician and medical director of the ER at Mercy Health St. Mary's. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So tell us about these safety steps that you've put in place to make sure people can feel comfortable coming in. Well, at Mercy Health St. Mary's, we've taken a number of steps to assure both the safety of our patients, visitors, and staff to make sure that everyone is safe while in the hospital seeking care in a primary care physician's office and of course the emergency department. One of the first things that we've done anytime you enter the building is you have screening questions about symptoms and you have a temperature check. If there's any symptoms that are suggestive of COVID-19, specifically for a visitor, they're not allowed to entry to protect themselves, the staff, as well as other patients. The same goes for staff. If there's any concerns, they're immediately referred to testing. Patients, of course, are there to seek medical care, and if they have symptoms, they're segregated to an area that's, uh, that's appropriate for those symptoms to keep other patients safe. The other thing that we do is we do require masks throughout the entire facility for everyone, assuming that it's medically appropriate and safe to be wearing them, and that dramatically helps to reduce the transmission of COVID-19. We practice social distancing or physical distancing as we should outside of the hospital as well to reduce that risk. And we also have some restrictions on visitors. Visitors that are not necessary or large groups uh, have some restrictions to protect both them as well as the, the staff and the patients in the emergency department. That sounds like you've gone- One on of the biggest things that we've done also is enhanced cleaning. In hospitals, as you would expect, cleanliness is extremely important. But in this area of COVID-19, we've taken extra precautions. We use hospital grade sanitizers that kill the virus on contact, but in rooms that we know were occupied by someone that was being treated for COVID-19, we take extra precautions, including using ultraviolet light robots to sterilize the entire room, areas that are harder to get like um, vertical surfaces and curtains and things like that. But perhaps the most important thing that should give patients and visitors some reassurance is our testing. We test every single patient that's admitted to the hospital for COVID-19, even if they're not being admitted for symptoms that are suggestive of COVID-19, just to pick up that occasional patient that might be an asymptomatic carrier. That allows us to segregate the hospital into COVID-free zones and zones that are used for treating COVID-19 patients. So you can assure that when you're in the hospital for a non-COVID related illness, you are in an area that's safe and COVID free. And what services are being provided? I know you have, well, obviously we're talking to you, you're the emergency room director. Uh, what other services are, are being offered so people know, yes, it is safe to come in for these types of services? At this time, we are open for all services. So primary care visits, uh, you know, don't, a lot of people have delayed their primary care. It's time to get back in and check up on those, uh, those health conditions. Elective procedures are now also being performed again. And of course, the emergency department has remained open this entire time. And then obviously we know to cough into our elbows and to uh, socially distance, wash our hands. Any other tips that we can do, precautions that we can take uh, to help flatten the curve and make, a, make it just a safer environment for all? Absolutely. Um, wearing masks is probably the most important thing. And it's important to understand that you're not just wearing a mask to protect yourself from getting COVID-19. There are a lot of people out there that are transmitting COVID-19 asymptomatically, meaning they don't know that they have it, but they're still transmitting it. And the mask dramatically reduces that transmission. So you wear the mask to protect yourself and you also wear it to protect your friends and neighbors and the community that you live in. So Dr. Practicing Roper. physical distancing and avoiding touching objects is important. If you do touch something that you think someone else has touched, it's handy to have a little bottle of hand sanitizer in, wash your uh, 
hand sanitize after that, that will help protect you as well. Thank you, Dr. Roper, for all the great information. We appreciate your time this morning. If you want more information on the services and safety, the precautions that they're being taken, all you have to do, visit mercyhealth.com.